the issue of being pro-life, um, I guess it would have to be um, having having friends that, that have considered, and maybe some who have done. Uh, but uh, just seeing seeing that the, my friends who who maybe abortion and, and did, you know, decide to keep keep the baby or keep the child, and you know they're very happy and just. I, you know, you, you see the life and you see that, you know, you see that, that something came of it, you know, and that keeps you going. I know a lot of girls within my age group, they believe in having their choices of their own and being able to dictate their lives and deciding what they want to do and how they want to do it. I think a more positive impact that that could have is just creating awareness of abstinence and birth control and ways on how to be a parent and mom. I think that's a better route to do, I guess, instead of saying, like, don't kill babies and this is why, this is what they look like, this is bad, stuff like that. But saying, what are some other ways we can go about a situation like that and still have your right, I guess as a human and a person. It's interesting to know how other people think and react and what kind of difference they want to make. So, and again, awareness is just always a good thing to have with anybody, because if you're ignorant, it doesn't really help society much. When I've done the uh, pro-life marches, there's been like throwing condoms at you and just shouting like all these like awful things about you know what you stand for you know uh, in, in my case it's you know I'm Catholic and it's uh, the issue of life which is something sacred to me it may not be that for me it's something sacred and you know just being there and just people telling you that you're wrong and that you're you know that what you believe in is shit is kind of like it's 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 strong and you know it's tough it and it, it gets peaceful march and you know sometimes people say things that kind of make you want to get heated and you know lash back at them but you know like you have to remain calm so those have been kind of like crazy things that have happened mm -hmm. in the marches the march like the uh the san francisco marches yes. yeah yeah we well wonderful what's beautiful about that is we're just very peaceful very prayerful mm -hmm. very uh, gives you a lot of uh Seeing people, thousands and thousands and thousands, you know, about 40, 50,000 people marching for life. If that doesn't give you goosebumps, or, you know, <laughs> wow. And um, and the beauty of it is the youth. You see young people, young people are taking the cause. They are, they are you know, we old fogies, we are fading out. Mm -hmm. But you could see that the, that this, this is not going to die with us. This fight for life mm -hmm. is being taken on by survivors. These are, and they have a personal stake in this now. Not like us, you know, they were in danger of being aborted, and they know it. And so, so they, you know, and they are the ones that they would look around, say, and they would know that, say, in a class, and they would say, you know, one fourth of us are, not, it's not in this missing, because one fourth of that generation had been aborted. Which is true. One out of every four of you people your age have been aborted. So you're missing one fourth of your friends. 